I'm John Shaneman at the Florida Oceanographic Society in Stewart, where a new 3D printed reef has taken residence in the Game Fish Lagoon here. At the Florida Oceanographic Society in Stewart. Gray triggerfish, they are little pigs. There are 300 creatures in the Game Fish Lagoon and now one 3D printed reef. Brittany Haskup, Director of Animal Care and Life Support here, says the reef will provide a number of benefits, including protection. Something that would initially serve as habitat for our smaller critters that need to get out of the sun and possibly away from any of our flying birds that like to come around the lagoon. Really exciting. I mean, it was a super long journey. That journey began back in December in Palm City at the warehouse for Printed Patio. We never actually set out to create a reef. But as a fan of the Society's Coastal Center, owner Justin D'Angelo wanted to do something for the community. He took inspiration from a similar project in Portugal. It's humbling to be a part of this ecosystem and, and be able to have made a mark on it. The concrete used in this nine foot long reef is stronger than what's used in traditional home building. And the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission had to sign off on its use. And to get this nearly 4,000 pound structure into the water was no easy task. A crane was brought in. Uh, it was dropped into the water on the pallet in its laying down orientation, and then the pallet was reconfigured so that we, it could be flipped in the water. Within two hours of its initial placement, Lily the sea turtle was already checking it out. And what's really great is that our turtles have buoyancy issues, so this makes it even easier for Lily to get up under something and rest. The printed patio donation would have cost the Coastal Center in the neighborhood of $10,000, but now other environmental groups and nonprofits are knocking. So we're looking at doing a, um, an ocean deployment in November. And in time, as other organisms grow on it, this reef will truly become a living part of this lagoon. In Stewart, John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5.